So the blender market is having a sale. I'm gonna quickly run through my top picks. Now I have videos on all these, but I'm just gonna quickly show you the page, just kind of like run through this. Now the Perspective Plotter by Mark Kingsnorth. This is about getting an image and lining it up within a blend scene or with natively within Blender, such a good add-on. For those of you who are subscribed, and if you haven't, just do it. We've used this quite a few times in the live stream. So this is definitely one of those that you need to pick up. Auto Rig Pro, Quick Rig. Oh my goodness, I abused this one so much. Uh, especially bringing in character creator four characters into Blender and just quickly set up the quick rig, apply the rig, and then we've straight away got a rig that we can control with the IKs, the FKs, so on and so forth. If you're doing any animation, yes. Just be aware, you need the Auto Rig Pro add-on as well. Now the Polygon guys have several add-ons, which I really love. The Botanica one, which has a whole bunch of plant assets over varying environments. We've got the Trafficker add-on, which is all about the cars. You would have seen a lot of renders that I've done where I've just literally just thrown a car in, used Botanica as the grass, render, done. Quite good. Now another environment add-on is Scatter 5.3 now. This add-on is constantly being updated at eight and a half thousand sales. Just the level of quality assets, just like Botanica is, mm, is up there. And it's very quick to be able to throw in a whole bunch of plants and rocks and so on and so forth. And these are all generated within, well, sorry, they're all asseted in within Blender. Now, Simply Cloth Pro, if you are one that loves to create clothing, um, any, any kind of cloth simulation, this is one of those add-ons which will just make your life easier. It just improves the workflow within Blender to create cloth simulations. Yeah. Now, for those of you who do join me on the live stream, you would have known about Extreme PBR Combo. We use this one constantly, especially now moving over to Omniverse. Um, I need to be able to just pick up textures, throw it into Omniverse, and it just works. With the latest Star Wars film that I'm making at the moment, you'll see a lot of textures from Extreme PBR Combo. So this is another one, highly recommended as well. This is one of those add-ons, Random Flow, which just, just makes your hard surfacing, sci-fi modeling just pop with just a few clicks. I highly do re recommend checking out Blender Guppy's Instagram and Twitter. He's, I think he's pretty much doing daily content of him using his tools. So check that out. You can actually see how his workflow, so on and so forth. It's, it is grouse. Now UV Packmaster, if you hate UV unwrapping, my goodness, this is the tool for you. With this add-on, you can quickly do a smart UV project and then using UV Packmaster, it'll pack those UVs in tight. So that's why I really abuse this one quite well, especially like I mentioned previously, moving over to Omniverse. And if I need to bake something, this is my number one go-to. Now Starship Generator, I don't have a video that's coming out on Monday on how to use this add-on, but very quickly creating spaceship concepts. Oh my goodness. It's actually pretty cool. It just cuts time, so on and so forth. I really look forward to playing with this one and Mid Journey on the live streams together. So check that out. Also, Instagram page. This guy, Mark, good chap. Now, Procedural Water by Felicia White. It just, mm, my goodness. There is some amazing things that you can create with this. It just brings that seaness, seaness? That sea life come together, come together, sorry. Look at these, they're just grouse. Now, if you're unsure about this one, I highly recommend jumping over to Felicia White's Fire Pigeon Discord. There will be a link in the description for that. And just have a chat and tell her I sent you. Do it. Now, two more add-ons for you pyromaniacs and destruction people. RBD Labs, I keep saying that one wrong, is all about self fracturing and making that look schmick. There's a whole bunch of presets and that just really increases your workflows to create some lovely jubblies, explosion-y stuff. And last but not least, Chaos for Blender is all about destruction and smoke simulation and fire dissimulation, um, a little bit of rigid body fracture and so on and so forth. Yeah, you like blowing stuff up? Here you go, this one's for you.